don't like a Christmassy display, then you're a gr you're a Grinch. At least the shoes love me. <laughs> These are the best over the knee boots of all time. Why are you offending me? I should not have bought this. Why did I buy this? Good morning. How are you doing? Oh, let's find the good light. Oh, let's be careful because what you can see is the nesting continues. There are boxes galore in this room here which one day will be fantastic god knows when that day is going to be i hope you guys are doing well oh this part this part of my house looks nice you know you can fake it but like this part of my room is nice this part of my house is nice and then this Bruh. is the reality how are you guys de doing today i am going shopping i wanted to do an epic shopping trip style video for you guys just because like black friday is coming up and i am one of these sneaky people like i like to buy stuff beforehand or go and look and see what's out and about beforehand and really know what i really want and then i'll like either buy it and then we'll turn it on like the day or like a few days later so I can get like the discount or just like save it in a basket so I know what I want for the season I know I'm not the only one who does that shout out to us who are smart because he wants to actually start shopping on Black Friday I haven't got time to have a fight in store for for for, for a discount <laughs> now I love a discount let me not lie hold on let me get a cup of tea and get comfortable my favourite biscuits. Good morning. I just realised behind me actually looks so pretty. I just wish this was the reality. Having a little tea and biscuits, as I mentioned today, I'm going to go on a bit of a shot. Please don't watch my nails. I'm going to fix them before I leave. Right now, I'm trying to take my life nice and calm, nice and easy, and making sure that I do things that make me feel good. Coming up to the, you know... Christmas season, party season, and of course, delivery. My mantra is like, we're not stressing. We can't die for this at this stage. And no, 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 I will not be doing any dying. I'll be living my best life into the new decade. So you can probably tell, I've gained weight, of course, I'm pregnant, whatever. And for now, I love shopping. You guys know this. I found that I'm obsessed with accessories because I kind of feel like, not down, I'm not gonna lie, but a little bit like, oh, I wish I could wear this, oh, I wish I could wear this, oh, I wish I could wear this. And like, I've decided that, like, that I need to get out of that mindset and I need to focus on what I can, like, get into, which is shoes, bags, and jewelry, and accessories, and coats, and things like that. So I can feel good, and I'm not saying that you need to buy stuff to feel good, but some of us like ish, like, stuff is nice, like, you know, by the grace of God, we can all have stuff, and oh, I have to, I'm gonna do a little unboxing before the shopping and more unboxing. I swear these are two parcels that have come in this morning that have made me so 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 excited number one These are gonna be really sad Oops door handles door handles check these out these have just came in I ordered these on Amazon for my wardrobe and um, they're better and like way more chunkier than I thought and obviously you guys know I'm decorating and stuff like that and finding little details like this like are transformative and these are the cutest little wardrobe handles that I feel like are gonna brighten our room okay and then I got something else in this morning from one of my favorite brands when it comes to jewelry Masoma these guys I am happy to be able to partner with because I know you guys see me with my little necklaces. People ask me every single time, what's the ne little necklaces that I'm wearing? And if you're ever gonna pick up anything this Black Friday, honestly, this would be 100% one of the, ju the jewelry brands to have on your list. So I've got one necklace that everyone asks me about, which is a Dior necklace, which is like 900 to 1,000 pounds. And I know not everybody got coin to do that, but my alternative favorite is my Masoy Masoma necklaces when it comes to layering and I swear when I got this box in I was excited Because these are the most perfect necklaces for layering. So if you like little dinky jewelry Look at this gorgeous. These are from the Lucy William collection, which I love and do you remember for so long? I never wore earrings, but it was because of the type of earrings that I was like wearing. I just didn't like them. This is right up my street. 
love these so the jewelry is 18 karat gold and i swear this is jewelry that is made for layering if you like that look of like multiple necklaces chunky earrings a bit more statement jewelry this is definitely the place to go i have to show you how these look really good when you layer them let's say this kind of chain here with this rope and coin and i feel like i want to put the little emerald one on let me make it darker so you guys can see how good that looks yes layering yes cleavage oh and there's another one i really like let me show you that one. Ah, oh, okay that is my favorite that is my favorite hey honestly this isn't actually the outfit i'm wearing today i'm gonna change but look at that let's keep that real that looks so good so good that has actually made my morning like my neck's just blinging right now it's so so fantastic so i want to shout out to my soma for sponsoring and sending me all these goodies if you are looking for goodies for black friday keep an eye out on my social i have links i don't have any discounts or any links right now but i know closer to black friday i probably will do i've got my eyes on some boots today i've got my eyes on maybe some coats I bought some stuff online, so hopefully, let's see what I'm like out and about shopping. I think it's time to hit the road. Let's hit the road, yeah. Okay, oh my God. I swear, getting dressed is literally a marathon for me. <laughs> it's fine, here is my outfit of the day. I am shopping appropriate. I've got layers on, I can take this off, take this on, it's all good. Basically, my goal is black right now because that's the only thing I can wear. Look, I can't even fit entirely into my tops. I'm forever like pulling them down. My belly is so much bigger this time. I wore these two pieces today and this earring, which I'm very excited about. And just black boots that I can slip on and slip off. And you guys remember this jacket from like last year, right? Tell you, if you buy a good jacket one year, you're gonna wear it year after year after year. Let's go. Hey guys, we have hit up Central London. And we're gonna go to my first favorite place, which is always Selfridges. Even if it's just to look, you know there's some stores you just look at and then get a little vibe. And right now my goal is like accessories, accessories, accessories. I feel like I'm hungry, like I've worked up an appetite, but I haven't actually done anything yet. <laughs> what can we eat? Like I need a snack. I need a snack before I start. Maybe a prep or a... Prep? You <laughs> Amina lives for prep. Oh my gosh. We went to one like, prep. Pre no, and you went to prep. Yeah, we went to prep one time and she's like, she went to prep. That day that you went to prep, <laughs> I'm, I'm not like looking back things. That's It's a wrap from then on. <laughs> I can't lie, I love it when it's like Christmassy. Oh, they haven't got the actual Christmas lights up, but when they have the Christmas lights up, maybe we'll come back shopping. But um, I'm gonna go sell this. I love how it looks. It's so if you don't like a Christmassy display, then you're a, gr you're a Grinch. And actually, I can be a Grinch a lot of the time, but I'm sorry, but I always love this. Hitting up the shoe wall where my joy lies. Get some Topshop shoes and everything. These are some Alexander McQueen dupes. Oh, I actually like these from Topshop. Everything looks better in store. As soon as I put boots on, I'm like, oh, yes. They're so comfortable. Yeah. These. Oh my god, I love them. They're so comfortable as well. So I got a bit hungry. <laughs> Wow, shopping. <laughs> so we actually stopped to get something to eat because you need, you need to fuel um, if you're buying your accessories. I wish I could show you like an aesthetic look at what we got, but um, we ate all. Amina did take a bit of us. But that's the remnant of the mac and cheese. That was only one pound ninety. Which I love. Ugh. These I like. Why these? Dior is very annoying for making me like stuff. Check this out, guys. This anchor right here. They made this in Sierra Leone with a, uh, an African atelier. It's quite controversial, but I think it's amazing. I'm not gonna lie, being here makes me kind of sad because I wanna wear everything and I can't wear anything. And I'm dreaming and visualizing the times where I can wear stuff again. At least the shoes love me. As I feel nothing else fits, I can wear boots. Get you a beautiful, amazing friend who will help you put on a boot because 
Your bump is in the way. I can't do it myself. I can't. Is the foot oh in God. the shoe? We're in. We're in the boot. Oh my God, they're gorgeous. These are so good. I don't think you can even tell how nice they are in the mirror. They're gorgeous. What are those? No. And what? These them. are sick. No. What? Good morning guys how are you doing i'm gonna be honest with you i'm really bad at vlogging and driving i need to get one of those clips that i put on my um dashboard but i'm a really cautious driver if you guys know about that today i'm actually off to go and pick up some of the parcels or some of the stuff that i've actually already bought some of my accessories and so we'll do an unboxing now i actually realized i detest taking bags home it's just so much effort but i love going to the shop to like look at what i want see what i like out there but why am i lugging like suitcases home it's never it's never that deep when there's like next day delivery so actually quite a lot of my deliveries have already come i wasn't at home yesterday so i'm going to pick up them up from the high street where they sometimes drop my parcels as well i have a post box but my post box is full 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 but yeah gonna do that now hey guys i'm gonna unbox everything i have i'm gonna try and keep it as raw as real as possible while i do this i'm just gonna tell you that i slightly went ham bear with me like I'm not going to keep everything. I think I was shopping emotionally as well. But there's stuff that I really want. And right now, clearly shoes are a thing that I'm really into. And I'll tell you what I got and why. So, first thing I got was some Stuart Wiseman boots. And do you know what? I already have a pair of heeled Stuart Wiseman boots. I've had them for probably four years. Like I might even find the haul video where I actually got them. These are the best over the knee boots of all time, of all time. Like I am not lying. This is why I bought a second pair, but the pair I bought are a flat version. I swear I have a lot of issues when it comes to the over the knee boots. These ones come right up to my thigh and over my thigh and they have the tie. And what I love is that they are not baggy at the um, ankle. They fit really well and they're really comfortable. I wear them in the rain and they last forever. But I'll link some alternatives down below. I'll be honest with you, they're hit and miss. So I've got some ASOS alternatives. These are an ASOS pair. Now, these are a really good alternative. They are super, super skinny on the ankle and the sole is really nice and they're really, really comfortable. Again, they're not the same Stuart Wiseman ones, but I thought I would get you guys these and show them because I'll be honest with you, I don't want to wear those all the time. Maybe that's why I haven't worn, why mine have lasted so long. I will actually show you what my, my old Stuart Wiseman boots looks like. They look so good still. And then Topshop have a really good pair. If I'm going to be honest with you, I think the Topshop one are the perfect dupe but the heel is a little bit higher but not too high this is the top shop alternative pow 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 listen i want to get you guys black friday ready just save the links okay save the links i'll have coupon codes ready at the time but yeah i wanted my over the knee boots and i got my steel eyes with ones and i think they're worth it okay okay then i wanted to buy some bags I decided, I'm, I don't, let me not make any large promises, but I don't want to buy any more designer bag. Oh Lord, I bought one last mini designer bag, like for the next year or so. But it's not, I do like having bags. So Mango have really, really good bags. I wanted an everyday bag. And I saw this one when I was going shopping. And I thought this was a really, really, really good bag. I love a good drawstring bag that I can just throw over my shoulder and wear every single day. Big enough to fit my laptop in. It's also limited edition. It's really, really good quality. I was like, this bag is so, so, so me. So I always buy black bags. Let me be honest with you. I buy black bags all the time. People are like, why do you have so many black bags? Because I wear them all the time. And for me, if I'm gonna buy like a designer bag, that is super, super bright. Like I always feel a bit nervous because I'm like, how much am I gonna wear that bag? So I decided to get a white bag because you know what, for me, a white bag, I'm not gonna spend a lot of money on a white bag. Hell no. So this white bag, I love the shape of this. I felt like it was a really nice wintry bag. And then it's also got a little compartment in the middle where you can keep stuff with a zip in it. So even though it's kind of this kind of open trapeze style, it's got that bag in it and a button. And then I bought this bag. I don't know why I bought this bag. <laughs> this bag is, is a mistake. 
is 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 i shouldn't have bought this i should not have bought this why did i buy this why it no i changed my mind oh oops sometimes we make bad decisions that's fine all right designer shoes baby designer shoes so what i have i feel so i shouldn't feel embarrassed i shouldn't feel embarrassed right i've been wanting the um, amina buadi shoes for forever they come on site and then they don't come on site i'll put some links to black friday the likelihood that you're going to be able to get them is virtually impossible right now but they are a beauty they are a beauty if you guys have seen the amina buadi shoes they've got the kind of um larger stiletto heel which makes so much sense all of us are wobbling around like bambies but look at the stability we get in these shoes and i just wanted a pair for forever and the thing is that the colors that i want usually go out of style or get sold out so quickly or the styles that i don't want are there but i really wanted this style and i saw it in the blue and i was like yes 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 i am going to get this shoe pan pill who gorgeous i really like statement shoes now i've decided that if i'm going to be wearing really plain outfits then at least let my shoe shine let my shoe shine and then okay we got another shiny shoe a jimmy shoe a jimmy show so my thing is that if you're gonna buy stuff like this black friday make sure it's stuff that is gonna stand out like don't just or stand out or be a basic that you're gonna wear all the time i actually really like the jimmy Choo heels i find them to be very comfortable very flattering they're not as uncomfortable as like a soke or as um lubes and these are just so so comfortable and these are like i know they look a bit grandma here but on they look great and obviously bigfoot problems i'm a size 41 europe p and so 41 which i actually think is a size us 10 so like my feet are big people tell me that my feet are not big no they are big for my height these are so cute and so wintry and so sparkly i feel like i needed this in my life i just really really like how these look boop, boop, boop. and then this is all the expensive stuff i have got more affordable stuff coming right in a second so aquazura i love aquazura shoes really really good quality high-end designer and for me i just wanted a pair of really nice comfortable wearable stylish black pumps oh just look at them on camera no look at these pumps why are you offending me why are you offend why are you so nice what is this like why why do you look like this so i was gonna alternate between getting these or a jimmy chew but these are more comfortable and i actually think these stand out a lot more just because of this little bit of slit now if you're gonna get a shoe with a little bit of slit make sure your foot is not dry <laughs> make sure your foot is not ashy i know that these are a black pump that i'm gonna wear all the time i'll have links down below save the link save the link discounts are coming discounts are coming that's what, that's what i'm gonna say so I'm say, okay. I don't know if I'm going to regret this or not, but I decided I wanted to get the Alexander McQueen trainers. So obviously the whole chunky trainer trend is in Bigfoot Lives Matter. Okay. I do not look good in those Balenciagas. I look like a clown. I really want to wear them. I really, really want to wear those shoes, but I look like a mess in them. A mess, an absolute mess. So I have bought the Alexander ones in the past. I bought them in the white. And again, I just felt like they looked too meaty on me, just too meaty. But when I saw the black colorway, I was like, oh, oh, let me hop on this. And I think that these look amazing. And I see girls wearing these trainers all the time. I like, they look so good. I always want a pair, but I personally don't know how good I'm gonna look in them. And I know I didn't love the white ones on me. Now I've got a great affordable alternative. And actually, ASOS and Topshop. I actually saw these are the Topshop ones. These are the Topshop dupe of the Alexander McQueen. When I was shopping, I saw them. They didn't have them on in my size. They've got the ones with the black or they've got the one that's the all white. And I was like, yeah, I really like the all white. So I picked these ones up online afterwards. But then I also picked up these ones. To be honest, I actually think these ones are more, more or less a good dupe of these. Which one? Which one's the dupe? Which one? Um, this is a really, really good dupe. And actually, it's a little bit lighter as well. So I'm, I'm picking up flats and heels. Okay, I know, I'm crazy. They're not the same quality, but they're not bad quality. I buy shoes on ASOS all the time. The only fine thing I find with when I buy cheaper shoes is the level of comfort I have with them. I find a lot of them more uncomfortable, and that's the difference between 
like cheap shoes and more expensive shoes. How how you wear these without your toenails bleeding. I also got myself a pair of Nikes. Okay, you guys are gonna absolutely laugh, laugh at me. I've never had a pair of Air Forces. <laughs> never in my life <laughs> never in my life and i always want them they never have my size when i go in i never know the different ones that there are there's so many different ones it's either the low the high the sage the this there's different styles of air forces so sometimes i try them i'll be like why does this look awful on me and then sometimes i'll try what i see it but that looks really nice on her but it just never worked for me but i finally realized that the ones i want are the sage low <gasps> The Sage Low, um, and I picked them up. I actually picked these up on ASOS. Let me show you guys. My Air Forces, and actually looking at these, I probably won't need the, the Topshop or white ones if I've got these. These are so easy to wear with just joggers and just anything on a regular basis. So the Sage Low, um, and I picked them up. I actually picked these up on ASOS. Let me show you guys. My Air Forces, and actually looking at these, I probably won't need the the top shop or white ones if i've got these these are so easy to wear with just joggers and just anything on a regular basis so i think that these are going to go down on lots of different websites at black friday so if you don't have any classic air forces then i would suggest like saving them to your basket oh hey who does she think she is i feel like i'm trying to be like a road man no i'm not trying to be a road man and i'm not trying to be street or anything like that but i got myself some off-white and i'm telling you my trick is right pick some stuff up before black friday right or like know what you want put in your basket save your links and then on the day when coupon comes out and discounts come out you can you can get what you need at the price you want it. So I decided to pick up an off-white bag. Uh, just a little one. These are, these are the little one, like a little crossbody bag. I've been wanting one for ages. I don't know why I hadn't got them, but I think they're really practical. Sometimes I like them, sometimes I don't. But I was like, for me, when I'm wearing so much black and quite plain outfits, that something like this is actually really nice. And like, as you can see, I've got like some trainers. I'm wearing more leggings and plain outfits. That I was like, oh, you know what? This bag would be really, really cool to wear with just my more simple looks that I've got. And actually, I went on to my Teresa to get the designer stuff, but I saw it in the store. So this is like the off-white bag. It's not the one with the yellow, what's it called? The yellow strap. I didn't want the yellow strap. That's just too garish for me. But the strap does have off-white all over it. Just like that. Poo. A few more pieces I want to show you. These boots were made for walking. The, do you know, I'm not gonna lie, I've realized how much a cat ASOS is of designer. These are actually a very similar to design to a pair that are in Jimmy Choo right now. I actually tried them on, but my, my budget is not set up that way to also get those boots. But these are a really nice fluffy boot and they're, I, I don't know if they're lined. They're lined. They're not lined, you yeah, bastard. But they're all, they're all right. I really want boots that are lined with fur on the inside, with faux fur on the inside. That is my goal in a winter shoe. But these are so, so cool. I love them. I know me, I'd wear them. They've got a chunky, really thick, really heavy sole. I don't like the cold and I don't like cold feet. So shoes like this are essential for me. And then finally, <laughs> these boots. These, another pair of boots. I'm obsessed with boots that say a little something. These are a dupe of the Balmain. I don't know if you guys have seen those. I, like, when I went on my shopping trip, I saw these. And I was like, so when I saw them on ASOS, I was like, these are such a dupe. But I'm gonna have it. I don't mind a dupe, if it's a good dupe. And then I got some coats. I've got two coats in particular. They're all furry and they're all long. Can't really wear much else. It's really cold, but I love a big faux fur jacket. <gasps> oh my, look at this, like winter is here. Gorgeous, I wanna show you guys this on. I have to show you it on. This jacket here is just phenomenal. And it's like super long, like it's kind of like long down to the ground. I love jackets that are long down to the ground. And the faux fur on this is so soft and so supple that I knew that this was for me. I think it might have sold out. If I can find the link, I'll find it, see if I can, or I'll find some alternatives. And then I bought another one. I think I was trying to work out which one's gonna work more in my closet. The thing about faux fur, you have to make sure you enjoy the texture of it. Like you don't want just any one, you want the texture that you like, yeah, this one's the texture I want. Ooh. Oh, this is shorter. Yeah, I want the first one more, but this is gorgeous. I want them both. I want them both. Oh my God, they're stunning. Anyway, 
I'm in love. Okay, guys, um, I'll put on the outfits. Either I'm going to put them on beside so you could have seen them or I'll put them on right now. But yeah, that is it. That is a come shop with me. Accessories edition. And it's slightly high end and midpoint and whatever. Um, but I, I will have links down below for alternatives as well. If you're thinking of shopping, it's Black Friday season and all that kind of stuff. Shop smart. Make sure you check out my links on the Soma. Keep an eye on my stories because I know that they're going to give me a discount code at some point in time just saying okay okay guys thank you for watching and i'll see you later bye